Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Today is Friday, May 13th, 2022, the last day of the trading week. So let's take a look at the Forex calendar first. What do we have here? Some data have been published overnight in form of the Business uh, New Zealand Manufacturing uh, Index and uh, this index is way below the expectations 51.2 is below 52.8 and way below previous winning of 53.7 so kind of a disappointing data from uh, new zealand and during the london session there isn't much um, data that could be a market mover we got the consumer price index from france in line with the expectations 0.4 we got the cpi from spain 0.3 percent a tad lower than 0.4 percent last reading and expectation expectations are uh, industrial production from the eurozone scheduled for release at 11 a.m uh, there is huge drop from 0.7 to minus 2.1 uh, for the month of uh, march so please keep an eye on this um uh, data however it doesn't look like it's going to be a market mover and during the new york session we got import price index university of michigan inflation expectations and speeches from the fomc member neil kashkari and loretta messer at the end of the day at 7 p.m we got back a huge us, US uh, rig count this is of course for all of you crude oil uh, traders so the friday looks pretty much like a dual uh, day it looks like a day where there isn't uh, any uh, market mover uh, a serious market mover scheduled for release however please notice the fact that we are trading in the last day of the week so there might be some interesting moves on the market due to the fact that this is just a friday the middle of the month of may so first um, um currency uh, or index that i would like to speak about is us dollar index so let's talk about us dollar daily time frame chart as you can see this uh, this index has broken above the 103.90 level it was previously a uh, intermediate uh, technical resistance and of course the long term technical resistance because um, of the previous data made a new high 104.90 exactly 100 pips higher and it looks like we are heading towards 104 you saw 105 the next target for the uh, bulls however this last high was made with lower volume so what do we have here just as on the other markets we got bearish divergence forming on a daily time frame chart after the extended period of a rally so please notice this fact please keep an eye on the future um uh, developments on the us dollar index it looks like we might have some nice mm, correction looming just behind the recent uh, breakout so um if the us dollar index is going up what is the us dollar to japanese yen doing oh very interesting finally on the daily time frame chart we can see a drop down as i was um uh, analyzing this uh, this chart uh, we were uh, consolidating here right uh, after the uh, shooting star pattern pin bar pattern was made uh, with the high at uh, 131.33 um, the breakout down uh, would uh, would likely means that um, the new cycle is uh, is now developing because of very very extended rally to the upside uh, and the multi uh, divergence on the various time frames and if, if it is on the daily time frame it is something that markets participants should pay attention to so for now we retraced around 2.83 which is already correction biggest than the previous one this one it doesn't it's not necessary uh, anymore let's just remove it from the from the chart and this is i guess this is the bearish divergence correction so the question is where this correction can go i guess 
this correction can go as low as 125.20 this level of support here that will be minus 4.63 almost 5 percent correction and uh, in that situation us dollar index will go down and in that situation euro dollar should go up right so let's take a look at the euro dollar what should euro dollar do if the us dollar index is going down euro dollar should start the corrective uh, rally corrective bounce corrective period corrective cycle so we got new lower low and we got new new lower low and there is no new low on the rsi we got bullish divergence so plenty of divergence here on the various markets the previous divergence as you can see is still not resolved this is the same situation here we got new lower low however this low is not exactly uh, a lower low so probably uh, sooner or later um, the bulls will res resolve this this um, bullish divergence and they will break above 1.0472 1.0639 is the first target and then maybe even we are going to trade as high as 1.0809 this is the the technical resistance that i'm looking at right now very very interesting so please keep an eye on this situation here full of bullish divergences full of the possibilities all of these markets are trying to uh line up in some sort of the uh in some sort of the um uh, money flow situation right if the money flows from the uh, us dollar it doesn't flow to euro and so on and so on but does it go to the s p 500 index what is going on here we have a very very interesting situation just as planned what do we have here we have the five wave decline uh hits the the level of 3858 and that might be the end of the c move because we are already below the just a little bit below the 100 uh, percent technical level 3928 low was 3857 it's a uh, 60 uh, something uh, points lower uh, however with that massive uh, uh negative divergence and uh, with that massive momentum we might say that uh this is very very acceptable for this index to complete the abc corrective pattern irregular corrective pattern a b c a b c one two three four five to the downside on this uh level so right now um we might um see some kind of a bounce but we got two um two levels of uh resistance here 4000 and 4020 is the first supply zone and the second supply zone three levels of resistance 4084 4109 and 4137 so this is the s p 500 if we break above these levels then we can uh, see what is going on on this market again last but not least bitcoin very interesting market behavior after the uh, key technical support has been violated this is the support from the may 2021 so what is going on right now we have a very interesting pin bar here it looks like a uh, like a pin bar might be considered kind of a hammer but it's it's really not a not a not not that uh, it doesn't look like a te textbook example for that's what i'm trying to say however it's a pin bar made way below the uh, technical support now this is the technical resistance and this um this zone between um, 28,964 and 30,308 is being tested we broke above this level however it's only an intraday breakout due to the extremely oversold market conditions that are now trying to improve however to the end of the day this might just simply reverse so please keep an eye on how market participants will play out this this um this situation here and uh, if the momentum will break above the level of 50 if it does then this correction 
on Bitcoin. This long term correction, as you can see here, in form of the uh, let me just point it out uh, from the top, in from the wave A, right? This is the top all, all, all time high. A, B, and C might be completed. As simple as that. Uh, so please keep an eye on the current situation on Bitcoin and how this zone will be played out by the market participant. That's everything from me for today. Thank you very much for watching the Friday's analysis and I hope I see you guys next week. So take care and bye bye.